Senator Stevens offered the following resolution. Etwan Sherdlou. Etwan Sherdlou. Etwan Sherdlou. What the heck is Etwan Sherdlou and why does it keep popping up in all these old newspapers? The word Etwan Sherdlou is actually nothing. nothing. He will tell the story that this word was coming up recurringly and it was obviously strange who is or what is this sequence of two words. And later in the story, you explain that it's just to do with the keyboard. When they made a mistake, they had to enter the fastest way of gibberish you can come with. And it was like just running the fingers through the first line of the keyboard. He's explaining there. Most linotype operators would do something very specific to fill out the rest of an incorrect line. They would just run their fingers down the left side of the keyboard real quick, you know, like... You can see that there is a tendency for people to attribute human characteristics to a recurring sequence of words that doesn't make sense, but you can imagine how people come up with an idea to explain what is this Etwan Sherdlou. And later, uh, people actually wrote stories using the Etwan Sherdlou as a reference, right? As a person who wants to show like a, a little piece of trivia, let's just say, to give more color to their writing. My interest in the Etoan Sherdlou is that it's a linguistic strangeness because it doesn't seem to have been put together by any sort of thinking other than just the accident of the first lines spelling Etoan Sherdlou and then the circumstances, uh, the type of print they had and the necessity to correct a mistake as fast as possible because time was pressing on the question of, you know, printing back in the days. So 1970s and nowadays with computers and digital printing, there's really no reason at all why Etwan Sherdlou would ever accidentally show up on a newspaper page in 2023. Which, uh, it's kind of a shame in its own way. Because Etwan Sherdlou had his place in printing history and in my opinion, he kind of deserves to be remembered for that. So you can see that even the presenter, he's referring to Etwan Sherdlou as a person. I understand that is a metaphor for the nostalgia of old printing. You see, the obituary of Etwan Sherdlou. It feels like there's a human attachment there. It personifies, that's the word I couldn't find before. It personifies. We talk about concepts of the human mind. You can see there's a metaphorical expression of the self. Everything becomes a metaphorical expression of the self. And you see this guy being mournful of it even. Right, because it's an interesting piece of information dealing with technology, a very obsolete and old type of machine, <laughs> and it created a character out of nothing. So you have there the linguistic strangeness. So do me a favor, pour one out for Mr. Shirley. Keep him in your heart. Thank you for watching.